What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to HN Clothing. Welcome to another wonderful video. In today's video, we're going to talk about everything boning. We're going to be looking at the different kind of bones that you need for specific corset projects, not even corsetry. You're going into bridals, evening gowns. You need bonings to give structure to your garments. So I'm going to dissect everything for you. If you're going to be interested in this video, please do keep on watching and let's dive right into today's video. Right there, we have the different bonings that are usually used in corsetry, bridal wear designs, and even evening dresses. The first bone we're going to talk about is the round plastic bone. So this round plastic bone comes in different widths. If you look closely, you can see that this width is smaller compared to this width. And this round plastic bone can be used around the under wire area. So if you don't have that under wire that you use for a cup corset, you can put this there to give the bust, the push, the lift that it needs. It can also be fixed in overbust corset, funnel corset, any corsetry that requires precise boning structuring. You can use your round plastic bone. So, yes, this is your round plastic bone. Moving on to the next bone, we have the plastic bone. This one is not round, it's just the normal plastic bone. It also comes in different width we have the one that is as wide as half an inch this one is 5 mm this one is 3 mm you can see the difference in the width right this one is mostly used when you are doing um corsets like um evening gowns that you have cup corset and then you want to put this where the flat bones will be these ones can be used it comes in rows, like you can buy a whole pack instead of yards. So I have a lot of this so that whenever I have any corset project to work on, I have enough bones to use, okay? So yeah, this is your round plastic bone. Buy in different width and play around with it. This is an example of a project that a designer actually created using the plastic bone okay so let's move over to the next bone by the way the pl plastic bone can be used in any kind of corset project as well however if you use the one that is very thick in width it gives you that pointy sharp feel especially if you're doing a basque corset like you're going to be doing a basque waistline and you want it to really go down to the groin area if you use this kind of bone there it should just push it and it will now be pointy so this will not be ideal for something basque except it's not going as low as the groin area moving on to the next kind of bone this is what we call the regulin bone you also it comes in yardage as well so you can buy a whole bundle and use it for different projects um this regulin bone is also a sew-on bone you can use this for your cage art corset so if you're doing bust caging this is perfect for it if you're doing any kind of um boning that requires you to sew on especially for people that do not really want to stress and create channels to put these bones because all these other ones you need channels for this one you can just sew on it directly maybe on the main fabric or on the lining in the interior part and then it hides everything okay for evening dresses they use this regulin bone a lot they use it mostly on the lining so that it doesn't really show on the fashion fabric like the seam line will not show so this is regulin bone used in cage art um and other kinds of projects evening dresses wedding gowns we use a lot of regulin bone in those projects Moving on to the next type of bone, we have what we call the spiral steel bone. For the spiral steel bone, it comes in different 
width and sizes you can see this width and this width is um identical is the same width right you can see that this width is bigger this one is about half an inch wide this one is half of half an inch can you see that and then this one is the tiniest of them all these are still all bones that we use when we want to create projects okay for instance this spiral steel bone you use them when you want to work on cursory or bonings that need to go to the groin area bonings that need to curve and really um, sit nicely on the body without giving any puckering feel this is the perfect bone you need um yeah it just gives it that very lush luxury feel any design that you create using this kind of bones best believe me those designs are very expensive because these spiral steel bones are actually super expensive in the market so imagine having a whole lot to go around a design you really need to price that garment very well great after talking about that finally we have the flat steel bone this one is a bone that you use around the modesty panel area this one was even used quite long ago um, in the victorian corset era we use the flat steel bone you can see that this bone actually rusts so if you do not want it to rust in your garment there's a spray that you spray on it to prevent it from rusting um it gives very rigid structure very rigid one so you want to do an undergarment that requires boning you can use your flat steel bone okay and this one is you can break it easily just by bending it breaks right but for your spiral steel bone you actually need a dedicated cutter to cut this steel you need it it's like a plier you cut the steel with that cutter right you can't just bend because it's malleable and flexible you can't just bend to break it won't no matter how much you twist and twirl it will not break but this other one this one is easily broken by just pa 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 it will break once you do like pa then you do like pa <laughs> it's broken while this one you use scissors to cut after cutting you can use a file to file the end so that it's not pointy and sharp you want it to be well rounded and smooth when you put this into your project so that it doesn't create discomfort for your clients all right guys so that's about it for this video i've just walked you through the boning the different bones that we have and that you can use from today in your corsetry project evening gowns evening dresses and bridal wear designs if you have any question please let me know in the comments below if you also have any bone that i have not touched up on in this video let me know as well shout out to the designers that are featured on this video um you guys are doing amazing 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 thank you so much for watching guys can we see that next tutorial do not forget to watch this video if you have any other curiosity regarding corsetry i've done quite a number you can watch this playlist here to see more of the corset work that i have done i did something on bust caging and also some other some few that you'll find quite interesting okay so that wraps up today's video till we see in our next tutorial stay safe god bless you all